want to start off by exfoliating your lips. I'm just using a damp toothbrush doing back and forth circular motions. You could also use a chapstick, let it sink in for a little bit and do the same thing. This is going to remove all the chapness and dead skin and leave a nice clean canvas for your lip color. The second option that you could use for exfoliating your lips is a salt or sugar scrub. I'm using my Ocean Mist salt scrub and I'm just doing the same thing that I do with my toothbrush, back and forth circular motions, removing all the chapness and dead skin from my both top and bottom. Next, you want to moisturize your lips. It's very important to keep your lips nice and moisturized to prevent chapness and for your lipstick to crack. So you just want to make sure that you apply it evenly on both top and bottom lip. Now that your chapstick has had time to sink into your lips, you want to go ahead and conceal your lip color. This is going to give you the nice, rich, true color of your lipstick. Preferably, you'd like to line your lips with a color that's similar to the lipstick that you're going to be using. This is going to help your lipstick to not feather and it's going to act like a base for your lipstick as well. You could also play around with it and make your lips a lot fuller and change the shape which can make this step really fun. Now you want to apply your lipstick. You want to apply your lipstick nice and evenly on your lips and um, just get it as close as possible to the inner areas of your lips as well. Another important step is to blot and remove any excess lipstick on your lips. You could use a paper towel or toilet paper. I'm using tissue. Now that you've blotted and removed any excess lipstick, you want to go ahead and reapply your lipstick to both top and bottom lip. For the last and final step, you want to grab some translucent powder and dust it on both top and bottom lip. This is going to really lock in the color and try to keep your color from moving at all throughout the day. It's just like if you would add powder to your face after you're done applying the foundation. Okay guys, you're all done. Now you're ready to take on the town. I hope you guys enjoyed my quick makeup tip and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.